video, you're going to see us, we head south and we try and chase some big boys. Now, we usually stay forest hunters and that's all we have access to up here. My old man turned 60 last year and I was turning 30 this year. So we decided to um, go for a guided hunt and try and get some big boys to put up on the wall. So, all I can say is we went with Bill for happy hunting and it was such an enjoyable trip to go with him. The amount of knowledge that we learnt um, and the experience was just awesome. So if anyone wants to um, go for a guided hunt, well there's plenty of deer available, I recommend Bill from Happy Hunting. So on to the next thing. Now, being a state forest hunter, I would sort of call myself more of a shooter than a hunter. And I guess it's a bit controversial. When we head out to the bush, we only really have limited opportunities to find and see deer. Um, and a lot of those times, we are taking the deer for meat. Okay, we're not shooting trophies, we're shooting for meat, fill the freezer, as most of our hunters do. So on this trip, it was um, quite eye-opening and really good to look at and observe the deer. Now, we were seeing multitudes, heaps of deer. Now, every deer looked massive. Dad and I, eyes lit up, were like, yeah, beautiful. But um, the one thing Bill gave us was the ability to look at and assess each deer. So some of the things we looked at were the frame, the length, the width, how heavy they were, and then we looked at where they had all the points. Nothing was broken off and then the spells were still there. So after we looked at all these features, we were then able to make a judgement of um, what deer we wanted to take, opposed to just seeing a stag with a big ant, big rack on it and going, yeah, that's the one. Um, we able to make good judgments um, of the deer we want to take to then, obviously, take them based off their um, antler merit. So, first day, saw plenty of deer, as you said, over and over, plenty of deer. We're like, yeah, 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 yeah. But it just, it's not the right way to do it when you've got such a slip. So I wanted a chocolate bar, um, and in the first afternoon we came across a beautiful chocolate bar. Um, the wind was howling right to left. We were about 250, 300 odd out to start off with, um, and I just wasn't comfortable. Wind was blowing the rifle all over the place, and I wasn't steady enough to take a shot. So um, this is where the whole hunt perspective comes into it. We crawled across a big paddy about 100 metres or so up to another bush and about another 50, so we're about 100, 150 just under, say, um, to where the buck was originally. Now, he was just sitting down, he wasn't moving, and the does had sort of caught on to our movement, um, crawling up already, and he was just sitting there, sitting there, so um, our guy Bill actually yelled out to him to get him to stand up, and that was it, as soon as he stood up, put one on him and he dropped back down. Um, so that was a highlight of my trip. Um, yeah, but such memorable over that for a lifetime. And um, we've got that head in a um, B&B taxidermy here at Sydney getting um, mounted up. Um, so hopefully we'll be back, ne back here next year sometime.
So on to dad's two. We um, dad had a crook knee, so we sort of had a bit of trouble uh, moving around and whatsoever. But we saw one deer. We always saw plenty of deer. We saw a deer that he wanted one afternoon. Um, the dad actually missed a shot on him, and then we saw him in the same spot the following following morning. So it was just meant to be. Um, and dad managed to take that beautiful photo with massive palms, just like dinner plate sized palms, and it was huge. God, we found him this old, big, brute, red deer, this old warrior, uh, which is pretty cool as well. Um, so two deer, Dad wanted to get on the wall, um, but ticked off for this trip, so it's a pretty awesome experience. But de you can definitely say we're booking it again and um, heading back to Huntley Field. Awesome bloke, awesome experience. Now, some of you might be going, oh, well, going on a guided hunt's not really hunting. Now, I know there's a lot of guys who can take 500, 6, 7, 800 metre plus shots, um, and that's all well and good, but oh, I almost still consider myself a novice in the hunting realm, and um, man, yeah, there might be big friends around the property, but these deer, they know you there, deer are smart. Um, and the whole hunt is getting in close enough that you're comfortable to have, have a shot um, and that's what it was all, all about. Uh, yes, there's lots there, um, but that whole process of going through the merit and actually pick, selecting the deer you want to shoot and then putting the hunt on it um, was what it was all about.